From there, we cross over to Kisumu, where we have Achola Simon following up on the PAG Church Rangos. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, Ben Troy and Jue. Indeed, we are in uh, Vihiga County, uh, specifically at the headquarters of the uh, PAG uh, Church here in uh, Kenya. And they've been having uh, wrangles over and over and again. And today, they received um, uh, a court order that uh, was uh, uh, kicking out uh, the current uh, office. So then, uh, of course, a new office is, is in there. It comes in to take uh, the reins of power. But of course, there is that controversy that has actually been ongoing. And uh, I'll just uh, allow you, allow the, listen, the listeners to listen in on exactly what the current administrator is actually saying. Thank you. My name is CPA Reverend Patrick Oyondi. I'm the General Administrator, Pentecostal Assemblies of God, Kenya. I'm in charge of uh, the administration of this church. Uh, this morning, we received a contingent of police officers and full riot gear four land cruisers purporting to effect a court order. I must admit that we have been in courts of law for quite some time now, since the year 2017. And it's all about leadership. There's a section, uh, a very negligible section of our, some of our members who are fighting the current leadership. Uh, the General Superintendent, Reverend Patrick Lehanda. And looking at the contents of the order that the police commander, Vihiga, was purporting to effect uh, is parallel from what they have done on the ground. They have sealed off every place. Uh, employees, our Bible school students who are gearing to graduate this Friday, we feel it's an assault, it's a, it's a, it's a contempt to their consciousness. They have taken courses for the last three years. So it's very unfair for someone to use such an occasion to come and, uh, uh, you know, block uh, the graduation of the students. Uh, in any case, issue about leadership should be discussed at a level that does not affect other innocent. These are employees and the Bible students. Uh, I wish to call out on the President of this Republic, His Excellency uh, William Samoy Ruto, who has visited Nyangori Mission Station uh, three times at the invitation of Reverend Lihanda. Let it get to the his ex and the president that Reverend Lihanda is suffering because he has had a close relationship with him and therefore he is perceived to be a pro-government proponent. And therefore we want to ask, can we separate these two? Reverend Lihanda has rights as an individual under the constitution to associate with whomever he wants to associate with. I want to assure our pastoral team, all our pastors over the republic, all our PAG members, that we are in control, we are in the ground. Don't worry, on Sunday, get your churches. Let's do our business the way we do it best, the Pentecostal way. Pray for this church. Pray for the country which is bleeding. This is a time that we need peace everywhere. And therefore, when we attack the church, our pastoral team will not find time to pray. But again, I want to assure them this is a time that they need to pray like never before. Thank you. So what exactly is happening? You said that um, uh, there was um, um, a court order that uh, was um, was being effected today in the morning. So we cannot access the precincts of the church. And uh, what exactly is the bond of contention? Now, the bond of contention, as I said, is about leadership. There are those who are against the Lihanda, but our church is congregational. It's the members and the pastoral team who make decisions. These are the ones who elected him to office. When time comes for election, let whoever who wants to contest present their candidature in a normal way without using our courts. Because we find that courts are, you know, the way they do their business again, we have concerns in the manner in which these court orders are being procured. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Patrick. Of course, uh, that is uh, uh, Patrick, uh, the administrator of uh, this uh, uh, very uh, big church in uh, this uh, particular region and across uh, the country, spelling out, of course, the issues they are actually going through. And, of course, uh, he says he's assuring uh, the, the members of this particular church that come Sunday, they will have actually sorted out the issue and they can actually come and continue to worship in this place. Back to you, Ben Trenjoy.